Hey guys, just kind of wanted to um, get this out there. Uh, I'm still working on a lot of things, but anyhow, um, want to get this book out called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. Nothing in how we're His glory, we're His story, and then He added, and we're His feet. It's on Amazon, Kindle, um, but I got an email copy. Just email me at Jesus Alive in America at gmail.com. I'll send you a free copy. If you just want the first page, just tell me that um, to simplify it. Otherwise, it's like 259 pages, which I don't have a problem sending it. Um, it's a lot. Um, but you can... I'm not a big fundraiser guy. Guys, I got a lot on my plate, it seems like. I'm kind of like Larry the Cable Guy. I'm just kind of keeping it simple. But the Lord's been dealing with me in dreams, visions, specific scriptures. But the story... Is all of our stories. That's what the book is about. It's full of scriptures. I'm just a scripture guy mostly. Nothing to do with me. I'm just a directional vessel. Yours may be a little different how he's dealing with you, but I'm looking for the connectivity to the body. That's why I'm doing this YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, now Periscope. It's like, man, God, I don't want to do any of that. Because a lot of it's hokey. Um, I take issue, I'm not saying don't give, that's not what I'm saying, but I take issue with a lot of the way that the church has manipulated the money thing. I'm never going to stop giving, guys, honestly. Not promoting anything, but we give a lot. As much as we can. That's not what I'm saying. But I asked for Bibles. And now part of the connectivity is I got a friend in Pakistan on Facebook that needs Bibles for Pakistan. So I need as many Bibles as you can get, guys. Collected, ran a Facebook promotion and collected about a grand. We spent another two ourselves. So it's not like I'm, you know, I'm going to stack it up, guys. Whatever you give, I'm just going to give away anyhow. I don't need anything. I need a belt. Maybe a pair, one or two pairs of pants, and I'm kind of saving that for my Christmas list so some of my kids and relatives don't have to spend a lot of money. My wife, I got two or three belts. It's not one, I just need a new one that one of the ones to wear, you know, on a daily basis is kind of wearing out. But it's a cheap Christmas gift, and I don't want to see, you know, some, some of my relatives have to spend a bunch of money, so it's easy, you know, what do you want? I need a belt. Something that's inexpensive. I, I don't really need anything, guys. Anything you do for us is just going to go right back out. Honestly, I promise. You know, you know, we have a broken hearted ministry right now. We're at a homeless shelter. It's an out ministry, guys. I don't preach down there for the offering. I told them that one time. It's more than once. I was like, I call for an offering. I get two bucks and some pocket lint. Oh, oh, guys are pretty tore up people. That's just the realm that God has us in. But this is what I tell people, too. Yeah, that's great, noble, awesome. Dealing with the broken and the poor. And it's needed. But you might be that polished guy that's a CEO of some big company that's going to reach somebody else. I don't know. We can't be judging people in that kind of realm. Because it may look a little different. What I'm saying is we need to promote the body. So you guys all have a story too. I want to hear it. Email it to me. I started a blog. I, I mean, guys, I'm technically illiterate, kind of. I'm like one of the dumbest boxes and one of the dumbest rocks in the box on the computer stuff, you know? It just, it just doesn't click, most of it. But here I am. Doing what the Lord told me to do, so I could use some help in the technical area. I could, I could use a lot of help, but even just prayer, even just prayer would be great. I gotta quit raising my hands. My wife gave me a hard time about that. Um, even just prayer, that's just me. But so you know, or connect with us some kind of way, because I'm looking for for your stories, not my stories, your stories, because that's what the book is about, about how we're His glory and we're His story, and we all have a story. It might not just be your testimony. It might be, there's, you know, and if you want to write your own book, I've already wrote two and the Lord told me to write some more. That's what I need some time for, guys. It's, you know, I'm just trying to 
pray about it and thinking about trying to start something on the internet and it's just kind of getting complicated and just a lot of stuff out there to weed through but so if you got some ideas i got some business ideas too but anyhow just email me um but where i was going with this is just to get the connectivity of your story guys got a blog page on wix kind of lame a little bit i get it i need some help cleaning it up probably and all that it was free i was on a shoestring budget but i want to start a blog page i want your story guys i'm willing to get it i want to get it out there because it's you know i friended a few people overseas on instagram at 850 friends plus another 800 or 900 requests it's a lot to go through guys it's very time consuming and it's like and then plus like i said so anyhow look at some of my other youtube videos you'll kind of get a taste for our heart the last one is you know where's your source coming from kind of give you a, a flavor of our heart um just directional guys i'm just that vessel i you know i don't know i'm just playing my part but i gotta do the same thing you do who's your source god jesus the holy ghost and his word I do it exactly the same way as you do, guys. I have some secret formula, recipe to KSC that you don't know about. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. There's one, one on the YouTube about there's no secret in perturbation. There's no secret revelation. It's for the body, guys. It's just time for us to get it out. Arise and shine. Isaiah 60 would be a great one, but there's so many. But anyhow, um, just get a copy of the free book. But if you're a an author or want to be an author even if you just got some memoirs or something this is what i did on this last book wrote two nothing to do with the books or me you know you want them i'll send you a copy for free you want a hard copy if you can't afford it or whatever just email me not an issue i'll make sure you get one or you can get the email copy but if you're an author Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. Free. All, you had, all I had to do was get it in a certain font, which I use Georgia 11, technical stuff, but they have somebody help me, but they have templates you can create the cover, but I had somebody else create me, help me create the cover and stuff. But I just got it to them and everything was free. He didn't charge me anything. And the Lord said, I was like, God, it's kind of messy a little bit. So just get it to them. And then proof it. I proofed it four times. So now it's pretty clean. I'm still working on it. He's still adding stuff to it. Um, if you got some cool story, I'm, who knows? I may, you know, I may want, I may ask you to put it in a book. I got a, a lady that goes with our church. I need to talk to about, about. She wrote a book too, part of a book, like a manuscript, and I need to talk to her about it. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm not opposed. It, like I said, it's not about me. It's about the body. The connectivity of the body and it's all over the world it's time for us to just rise and shine as his body and help each other so if i can help you in any way let me know be humble see i mean i'm just praying about a lot of stuff so just go to amazon kdp.com and that's what i did and i sent him the book and then i proofed it after I got it, it was a lot easier. I mean, I'd redo it and send it to them, and two days later they'd say approved or not approved, or they'd give me a little list of things to fix or whatever. <laughs> Sorry about the hands. I'm working on it. Um, and uh, there it is. So I have a, became close friends with a young man at our church. Good, good, good guy. Kind of inspired him. He wrote... A, a book, a, he helped me with the book. He wrote a book. I, I think it was only like 27 or 47 pages. It was very short. But he already sold a couple copies. But he's getting out there. Inspired him to just do it. So I don't know. You know, maybe that's part of the connectivity. Maybe. I don't know. Cause like I said, it's not about me. It's, it's about you. It's about you. It's about the body. It's about helping us propel and get this, get this word out there. Get God's word out there. The truth. The world's full of a bunch of lies, guys, and stuff. Let's read, look at some of my YouTube, but, you know, three weeks ago was Isaiah 27. That's where we're at. Read it. Everything's twisted. 
We know the truth, but then read John 14, 7. That's an antidote, even though they're both scriptures. That's an, I don't even know if antidote's the right word, but that's, you know, we know the truth, guys. Time to get the truth out. Stand for what the truth is. Our voice matters. So anyhow, um, if you want to copy the book, if you just want the first page, just email me that. Say, hey, just the first page. If you want the whole thing, if you order a book and you don't like it, just email me back, and I'll, you know, I'll give you your, I'll refund your money, or give it to somebody, um, just to help us. But what will really help us, because I'm not a fundraising guy, but of course I'm trying to do that too, sort of. But um, just go to Wix.com, look up Jesus is Alive in America. Go to our service page, and there's an online store right now. i got a couple of books and some other stuff, but it's all click, hooked up to Amazon. So if you click it on, it'll direct you right back to Amazon. And then I get a very small commission, but it's a little small commission plus, you know, the sale of the book. But it's all going back into it, guys. I think I already told you this, but anyhow, I'm trying to collect Bibles for the homeless, prisoners, and some other things. Did a fundraiser on Facebook, collected a, almost a grand, but we spent all, we spent another two ourselves. It's not like I'm collecting this to collect, but now one of the connectivities on Facebook is I got a friend and Facebook friend in Pakistan that needs Bibles. I'd really like to start doing that. So, you know any churches, anybody? I just need Bibles, guys. I don't, you know, they're three bucks at half price books. Media mail's cheap. I just mailed off some books yesterday, and it's two bucks a book, so that's five bucks. So for five bucks, you can send me a Bible. Send me your old Bible. Um, if you're in Dallas, come down to the to the shelter. Bring us Bibles. I just need Bibles, guys, as, as many as I can gather up, and they're going straight out. I'm not no administrative costs, no nothing. I'm not charging a fee. There's nothing involved in it. I'm just getting them out there, giving them out. That's just part of maybe in the body too. I just want to get the word out. So maybe that's inspirational to you to do the same thing. Because one of the posts I put on Facebook was about the sky. And check us out on Facebook. But just type in Google Jesus is alive in America and you can find us. But he put out a box, like a little box. He called it a blessing box. And he filled it up with food. Not like a lot, but and it was for the homeless. He just left it open. It was front, I think it was in the front yard even. And it just kind of inspired other people in a town to do it. So, you know, a lot the body can do, guys. We just have to help each other, inspire each other, lift each other up. Instead of trying to rip each other apart. The world's full of that garbage. And trash. Of course, we have to speak the truth, though. What's God telling you? Because if he tells me something and I don't do it, man, I'm not answering to you guys, I'm answering to him. And I'm just not gonna get in that dangerous place anymore. Did did years ago, but not now. But I just wanna just help the body any way I can. Connectivity, I can't connect to 1,600 friends and answer all your emails and, you know, and I apologize for that. I'm not trying to be rude, it's just, you know, I'll be typing something and They'll keep popping up, people calling, and it's like, man, God, I'm a little over, overwhelmed here, so I could use all the prayers you can give me. That would be number one, of course. It'd be a big one. So, you know, we love you guys. Uh, just If you want a free copy of the book, just email us at jesusisaliveinamerica at gmail.com. Look us up at Jesus is Alive in America on Google, and you can find us all over the place. Um, email me, tell me your story. You may want to put it in a book. In the book? I don't know. I might ask you. I don't know. I don't know what the connectivity is. Or maybe it's just to inspire you to, like I said, to write your own books and get them out there. I mean, that's all it is. I don't know. Or put the blessing box out. Or, you know, it's just time for us to connect as his body so we can be about our father's business. So that the hand and the feet and the, the eyes and the ears and we can all do what we're supposed to do instead of the, the big eyes and the little ears. I'll end with this, guys, because it's a great scripture, honestly. The equality of it. You could be the doorkeeper. 
or a senior pastor that's been saved 150 years with a million people in your church. And guess what? It's no different to God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Just read your Bible. Plenty of them in there. Here's a good one, Matthew 20. Don't expect more. So, you could be a stay-at-home mom and be in the perfect will of God. I don't know. I'm not going to judge people for that kind of stuff anymore. It's the body, guys. Fitly framed together. So we need to be a part of that. Not devouring each other. And I'm not talking about, you know, accepting the, the religiosity and the goofy stuff that's out there. That's not what I'm saying and anything goes because then that becomes, a, honestly, that becomes an idol on the sin too. <clears throat> the truth. But the true body, let's help each other, guys. In our journey. And some people may not be that far along in the journey. They may be farther along. I don't know. That's why I said, who's your source? When in this secret place? What's God telling you to do? Bounce off everything I'm saying even. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to a bunch of preachers and teachers and other people even. Or your, your wives or your spouses or your kids or teacher. Or get it from God. Jesus. The Holy Ghost and His Word. It's right there, guys. Waiting for you. That's why the Bible says... Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and learn of me. Time to learn of Jesus. I'm not downing you if you don't. I'm not faulting you if you got issues. We all got issues. I'm faulting you if there's some sin or not sin. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. Am I going to call it out? Maybe. If the Lord tells me to, because I got a responsibility to Him, guys. And it's not to be the abrasive guy intrude in your life or anything. It's not me either. Let's look at our YouTube, some of our YouTube stuff. Look at where our heart really is. That's why the Bible gives you this. That's why you get the spirit of discernment. Discern the spirit. You'll know them by their fruits. Try the spirit. See if it's the spirit of the Lord. Bounce it off of them. One of my favorite things to do. Either God or Jesus. What would you do, Jesus? Because I don't know. I'm stumped. I'm lost. I need some direction. Whatever it is. We all got issues and things that are going on in our lives. And if you got kids, you got plenty of them. And you got grandkids, you got a lot of them. Friends and relatives and even the world. So. Anyhow, help us get out this book, guys. But like I said, any of the proceeds are just going to get go right back into helping somebody else out, you know. Guys, I, I'm going to end with this a lot. For some reason, it's 7-Eleven. But 7-Eleven seems to be a magnet for homeless people and for me. And I'll pull up all the time. and Not all the time, but yeah. I mean, I don't go lie or lie all the time. But anytime I go... I'll see him just standing there. I'm like, I walk up to him. Are you hungry? I know they're hungry. Get a chance to minister to them. Well, I don't buy them a 99 cent bag of chips. And there ain't even probably in such a thing as a 99 cent bag of chips. But I buy them. If it's lunch, dinner, or breakfast, I buy them that. Some kind of sandwich or whatever. Usually some chips, some peanuts for later, maybe some crackers, one or two different kind of drinks, some water. Sometimes it's, you know, if it's one person, it's 10, 15 bucks. I don't want them to think that God's a cheapskate. For one, I'm just trying to feed him. So anything you do for us is just going to go back out, guys. Sorry for the hands. Um, it's just, I don't want it. Only a couple of things I need right now. I need a belt. Maybe some, I always need socks, but... Uh, one or two pairs of pants, but I just haven't told my wife that, you know, the, I've got four or five belts, but the one I wear pretty much every day is kind of wearing out. But I'm just waiting till Christmas because then I'd be, you know, tell one of my kids or somebody that I don't want, relatives that I don't want to see spend a lot of money. It's, it's an inexpensive gift and something I need, so I'm kind of holding that, you know, because I can go get one myself if I need to, or tell my wife and she'd be glad to do it. 
She loves to do that kind of stuff for me. But I don't need your things, stuff, money, any of that, guys. But anything that's brought in is going to, that's what he told me. He said, gather all you can to give all you can. Going right back out, guys, I promise. But, so anyhow, we love you. Um, sorry this is so long. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this whole thing. I hope you watch all of it, but some people do, some don't. But anyhow, we love you guys. Uh, free free ebook. Just email us. Thanks. See you. Talk to you soon.